Good morning. I wanted to say a few words about this survey. We ran very recently from the 31st of May to 23rd of June this year. The survey was sent to around 6,000 PLMB clients and prospects, and we received 252 responses. And these came um, mainly from the UK, but not exclusively. The aim of the sum, uh, survey was to find out which aspects of the GDPR companies are really struggling with, and also to benchmark best practice. We first asked the respondents which title they would give a new data protection officer and whether they already have a data protection officer. Now, most respondents, around 64%, said they already had a DPO in place and another 9% were going to appoint one before the GDPR enters into force on 25th of May 2018. And for those who were going to appoint one in the future, the most common title for new appointments was indeed the data protection officer. Now we have to note here that the respondents are a very select group of our clients and prospects. So Possibly this will give you a slightly more positive response than it would have been had the survey gone to a, a wider audience. Audits. Um, we asked organizations whether they were conducting audits and 30%, 36% of the respondents had already completed one and another 50% were currently um, in the process, but the large majority of the work was being done in-house, so it seems um, our respondents are quite confident in this area. A quarter of the respondents said that they have reviewed less than 25% or indeed none of their data protection policies to make sure they comply with the GDPR. Most organizations, a healthy 82%, had established the purposes for which they process personal data. Only 14%, however, had reviewed all of their supplier contracts from the data protection perspective, and 17% had not done any work in this area whatsoever. We then asked whether organizations are using external legal advice. This was used to some extent, and it was typically for devising GDPR compliance programs or advice on specific GDPR articles. External help was also sometimes sought for organizing data protection training for staff. We then asked about information notices, and most respondents Sorry, many respondents were in the process of reviewing privacy notices on their websites and creating global templates, but the majority had not started work in this area. Consent seems to be the really tricky issue around GDPR. Most organizations are still preparing for the new provisions on consent. Some said they now avoid collecting consent whenever possible. Others were reviewing and testing consent wordings. Breach notification. We know already that this is a really problematic issue for many organizations. Less than half of the respondents had created a breach notification procedure. Responses on whether the notification was possible in the 72 hours varied from, we can tell them something within 72 hours, but whether it will be sufficiently informative is another issue, to somebody else saying, 72 hours is long compared to the banking sector that needs to report breaches within one hour. Almost half of the respondents said that they have a training program on the GDPR. Only few had trained all departments, however. Many were first concentrating on HR, marketing, and IT. This was just a short summary of the results. We will publish this on our website, and a more detailed analysis will be available in our UK report. Thank you.